Welcome back to another episode here on the Eternal Sith Network, where you get all your Star Wars news. Today, we're going to be talking about the Bad Batch and a particular character. But before we do start, remember, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And also, don't forget to join the membership program here on the Eternal Sith Network, where you can get all the perks on the behind the scenes and also go live with me with the membership program. And once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. So we know that one of the biggest factors and the things that we learned about in the Bad Batch was the Wookiee home planet being enslaved by the Empire, and that is of Kashyyyk. But the biggest question is, what happens to Gunji going forward? Now, because he was still in Jedi mode, the Empire is definitely aware that Gunji was on Kashyyyk when some of the trees and bodies from the conflict were marked by lightsaber strikes. Now, it is known that Palpatine did begin the formation of the Inquisitors right before the end of the Clone Wars, and for one of the last proven members, taking out Gunji would make an easy first hunt. The Wookiee being, you know, one of the first victims of the fallen Jedi would give further insight into how each Inquisitor fits into their roles. Unfortunately, with Gunji being so young and inexperienced, he wouldn't stand a chance against even the weakest Inquisitor. Now, while Clone Force 99 did, you know, the right thing in returning Gunji to his home planet on Kashyyyk, the Empire already knows he's there and putting a large target on his back. Now, even though Gunji is safe at the present current moment, between the Jedi still being hunted by clones, the Inquisitors developing ways to weed them out, and the impending enslavement of the Wookiees, his future seems bleak. While it would be great to see him go on and connect with another surviving future Jedi, like Cal Kestis, probably isn't in the cards for him, and Star Wars is the Bad Batch Season 2 can show the group meeting with Gunji again, but if his fate is left ambiguous, it's likely dark. So I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on what can happen to Gunji going forward. Does he survive? Does he, you know, come to a demise and fight one of the Inquisitors? Or does Vader himself come and take out or wipe out the Jedi? As we know that Vader as well in the comic book series, and we learn of Vader building his lightsaber during this time. So it could be him doing the work in the beginning, but I, I would like to see the Inquisitors as well because there is in the comic series run that I think is really cool when the Inquisitors are all formed up in formation and everything. You see Vader kind of going like sparring with them and I think that's pretty cool, but I'm excited. I think that, you know, when it comes to Gunji's character, I love Gunji. I love his lightsaber and I'm happy that they brought him back. And I think that if they did, they might use him for other things, possibly live action Ahsoka series. Maybe if they don't talk about his character or show his death, kind of like Quinlan Voss. Like he's just another character that's just thrown out there that we've heard reference, but we know he's still alive, but he hasn't, you know, come to demise. But anyway, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's news. If Gunji survives during the reign of the Empire. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Guys, remember, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell. So you're always in the know on everything stars as I have another video out tomorrow. And comment down below on today's video. And remember, don't forget to join the membership program with the Eternal Sith. So you get all the perks on the behind the scenes stuff. And remember, the Eternal Sith. Then, now, forever. Later, guys.